Hi there, in this video I'm going to cover setting up multiple stores in ASP.NET Storefront Multistore. So uh, what I've got installed here is just an out-of-the-box website using Multistore and we just have one store set up right now. So let's take a look at the back end of the site and figure out how to add another one. Uh, underneath configuration you'll find the store maintenance link. You'll want to click there and then on the domains tab is where you can set up additional stores. So this is what it looks like when you've got one store set up. You've got all your URLs. So let's go ahead and add a second store. And you can have different URLs for development, staging, and production. And then this field is for your store name. Um, but mine are all going to be the same in this case. Go ahead and save that. And I'll reset the cache. And now. can see store one here and if I go to store two we've got an identical store set up okay so that's probably not what you're gonna want to end up doing um, in the long run but for now we do have two stores set up so the next thing uh, I'd like to take a look at is how to create a, an additional skin and then uh, map that skin to that second store so over here I've got the root of the website opened up and the skin is spread between these two folders app templates and app themes so if you open that up you'll see a few folders and you'll see one called skin one that is probably your skin if you see more than one skin um, you've got multiple skins installed but uh, what we we'll want to do is, is duplicate that and we'll just make uh, an identical copy of skin one and we'll rename it skin2 so it's got to be a numeric value like so and then we're gonna go back up to the root folder and this time we'll go into app themes and do the same thing I'm gonna copy that folder and paste it and this one's a little bit bigger it's got a bunch of images in it And again, I'll just rename that to skin2. And that's all there is to it. That's how you make a second skin. Um, so right now they're identical. I'm just going to go into skin2 in app themes and modify the style sheet with one tiny little change so that we can tell the difference between these two skins when we switch back and forth. So I'm going to change the background from uh, white to a gray color. I'm going to save that style sheet. So now, if I go back to the website, um, I'm going to reset the cache. That'll just make sure that the store recognizes that second skin we just added. And then underneath configuration, store maintenance, we'll head back to the domains tab. And we're going to have store2 use skin2. I'll hit save there. So now I can go to store1. And that's using the white background skin. And if I go to store2, it's still using the white background skin because I've got the cookie set from the very first time I looked at it. So one thing you can do is clear out your cookies. I'll go ahead and do that using this toolbar I've got. And then we'll get the right skin setting set. Uh, another thing you can do is put the skin ID query string on the end of the URL. So that'll set it to skin1, and this will switch it back to skin2. So that's another way you can force that skin cookie. Um, but of course your users won't have to worry about this as long as the first time they come to store 2 
um, they haven't been cookied in the past. They'll just get the, the proper cookie and the, and the right skin that you've set up for your second store. So that's all there is to that.